Good morning, first graders, and welcome to week seven of our art classes. We are going to do an owl this week. And you notice that this owl has all the rainbow colors on the body. So if you remember last week, we did the rainbow ball, the color wheel, and we did all the colors in a row, starting with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Now we're gonna put those same colors on our owl. But first, I want to show you pictures of owls. You know they only come out at night, but look at my computer picture of an owl. Spooky looking owl. He's got big eyeballs, yellow eyeballs. He looks like he's angry. He's got a little beak right over here to eat his stuff with. He eats mice. He's got big eyeballs because he has to see at night. He is only awake. He and she are only awake at night. They're nocturnal. Look at those big ears. They also have like big cat ears, don't they? Wow, it's a spooky, spooky owl. And so we're going to change the colors and we're going to make the rainbow colors on him. Do you see the claws he has? He's got claws for grabbing things and grabbing his food. All right, guy, let's see if we can make one ourselves over here. All right, here's our owl and I'm going to get a new piece of paper um, so that we can start from the very beginning. So what I want you guys to do is get your black marker black marker is what we're doing then we're going to put our finger in the middle of the paper and crawl up two times like a worm one two scoot all right then we're going to put one black dot on one side and we're going to put another black dot on the other side you see that that's pretty neat not like this though let me show you some mistakes you're going okay mr story is it like this no, that's too close to my fingers. Mrs. Story, is it way over here and way over here? No, that's too far apart. All right, so we have to get it just right. Right on this side and then on that side. Then we're going to put a circle around our eyeballs like this. Easy peasy. And of course, those of you who are at home, you can pause the video anytime you want. Then we're going to put a straight line here and then diagonal line going down to make an upside down triangle. Now it looks spooky. Remember that diagonal line? We're gonna use that again pretty soon. Now we're gonna make these big cheekbones like this curve and this way curve. Easy peasy. All right, now we're gonna jump from this curve, jump over to the other side like this, jump. Okay, don't give him a headache like this one here. Let's say you got this like this, and then you give him a big old bad headache like that. That's too big, okay? All right, so watch out for your jumping. And not straight line, it's a curvy line that goes up. Remember the ears that we saw? Put your ears on there, and then let's make him spooky and mean down and it touches the eyeball and it goes down to a point. Oh, now it looks like an owl. Here comes his body, big curve line this way and a big curve line that way, like this. Wow, that looks like a good owl. Here's another mistake Mrs. Story sees a lot. All right, let's say that's our owl, and you go, okay, Miss Story, I got curved this way, but, isn't, oh no, I made a mistake. What do I do? I went the other way. I'm supposed to go this way. Well, if you do that, go ahead and fix it, and that could be his wing. You see? That's okay, that's no problem. And if this is connected down here by accident, don't worry about that either. All right, let's go back to our original. Doop, doop, doop. All right, this owl is so fat that he has to go sit on a big branch, go straight across from this side of the paper to that side. Again, there he is, he's sitting on my tree. Now down, come up, go down, come up, go down, come up. Remember, you can pause the video anytime. There's the tails, the tail feathers, and then here comes the claws. Bump, 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 
bump, bump, bump. Easy? Now we're gonna make upside down triangles, just like his beak, right underneath those bumps. Almost looks like a zigzag line. You see that? They look like little tiny ice cream cones. Okay, so we're not finished yet. We gotta do his wings. Now, those of you who already had that one mistake, that's okay. But we're gonna go curve here, curve here, bump, 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 bump. Easy peasy. Now you can continue with your owl by adding all kinds of things. Feathers for his wings. Mm-hmm. Feathers. And then soft feathers right here on his chest or her chest. You can color in the claws. Those are claws. They don't have fingernails like we do. These are birds of prey, like the eagle. The eagle and the hawks, they have claws. You can even go like this. Make some tail feathers down here. How cool is that? Wow. And then his nose is right on the beak. Did you know that the bird's nose is on the beak? If they don't have noses like we do. All right. Now, on the outside, you can put stars because he only comes out at night. Owls are nocturnal. So you can make these kind of stars if you know how. Those are kind of hard to do, but you can make them or you can practice them. Or you can make these kind of stars if you know how to make those. Those are kind of fancy. But if you don't, then just go like this, crisscross and put a whole bunch of lines together. Well, because he's nocturnal or she's nocturnal, we can do the moon. And then, oh, how about a little baby owl? Oh, a little baby owl. You're so cute. You know how to make a little baby owl. I already showed you how to do the mommy. And then over here, you can put a nest with eggs in it. How about that? Oh, there's stars under here too, because he's so high up in the tree. If they're that high, that means you can see some stars underneath. He likes to look around. All right, now we're gonna start with our coloring. The color of the rainbow, let's see what comes first. Oh yeah, red comes first from the rainbow. All right, red first. And then what comes next? Orange comes next. You can make this any way you want to. I think his beak is orange too. So I'm going to put a beak that's orange. And remember the eyeballs? Yellow. Yellow eyeballs. Oh yeah, he's really spooky now. And of course some yellow because that's next of the rainbow. And then green is after yellow. It's a rainbow owl, remember? And then after green is blue. Oh yeah, he's looking really good now. Blue, don't scribble scrabble your coloring, make it nice. And then purple. Ah, oh, what a nice owl. All right, let me show you that owl already done. Here he is. Don't forget that you have to do the rainbow all the way down. If you have purple here and you have to start all over, we'll start all over with the red again. And then go yellow, orange and then yellow and then green. You may have two rainbows in here. Do you see how I colored in the sky with my brown or my black crayon? You can color the whole thing with crayons, not markers. The markers are going to be just too much. It's too heavy. This is not going to work with your owl. It has to be crayons, okay? The crayons are what works. Well, that's your owl picture. You can upload it to your Canvas page, take a picture, look, Mrs. Story, I did it, and then send it to me, okay? Post it on Canvas. Thank you, guys, and see you next week. Bye.